This week, Yo Dude podcast is brought to you by Uncle Larry's Pipestash.com. Yeah. Uncle Larry's is the place to go for all of your pipe needs and wants. Each of Uncle Larry's pipes are handcrafted in the good old United States. And uh, they're extremely durable, heat resistant, and easy to take with you on the go. Super stylish. And uh, check this out, Jay. You can actually pre pack them easily to take with you on travel on your next hunting, camping trip, or as your plus one to your next concert that you go to, and so much more. Uncle Larry is currently in the shop handcrafting a bunch of beautiful pipes for his retail shop to relaunch very soon. And when his when his shop does relaunch very soon, Yo Dude will have an exclusive discount code for everyone to pick up some awesome pipes at a discounted price. Hey, what are those uh, pipes made out of? Ah, uh, exotic hardwood. That's what she said. Hey, hey, Uncle Larry. Uh, Uncle Larry's got right. the, the exotic hardwood and is definitely laying the pipe. <laughs> yo, dude! It's Yo, dude with Aiden J. Yo, dude! Our hypothesis podcast metropolis. Let's get it going. What is with the what is with the horn in her hand? Mrs. Funky White Sister. It's a drop. Yeah, funky with that shoulder. Let me work it. I'm a thing now. Flip it and reverse it. He's your pimp is when you pop. He's your pimp is when you pop. Dude, the lady comes back through too. Yeah. Say he's like, what's up? This lady's coming up. She's ready to get some. Who is, where, who karaoke's in the park, first off? It's not Harper's radio, that's what I'm sure. Could you imagine if it was like grandma or something? Dude, wild. Her upper, upper nipples ran, yeah. She definitely, said, what? she definitely said nipples. That's 100% sure. Her hip hip nipple hip nipple ran, yeah. Her hipper hipper nipple fuck around, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh god, this lady is like hero of the week. And then, and then the elephant. We talk about the. She talked about the dick. Oh yeah. The horn. No, she the makes horn. the. She made the noise. That was so funny. <sighs> Sound that's effects. Oh, that's great. I feel like I feel like she should be the lady asking me my name when I show up at the dentist. <laughs> Dude. So what's up, man? How's your week going? Oh, it's going good. I uh, can't complain. Uh, the weather here sucks, but not really the weather. That's actually really beautiful, but we just had some really crappy storms pop through and yeah, destroy a bunch of people's stuff. Hail. So, Yeah. I saw some <laughs> internet posts with some crazy hail up by like Fort Carson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. It, the problem is that they got a storm in June that was really bad. Not, oh, okay. not specifically Fort Carson, but around that area. And no. this same storm just came through and hit that same area, but also Fort Carson. So no. uh, all those people down there, there's a lot of people with like new temp tags on their car with the windshield busted out because they just replaced their old car. <laughs> Another new car. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, I just ate two carrot sticks, and I wish I would have had three. Yeah. Well. Yeah, because I ate that pocket key and it's kicking in. You get, getting the munchies. <laughs> No, not the munchies. The like maybe I should have ate some food, food before in I general. <laughs> yeah, today. Yeah. So I, I really can't qualify that as munchies. No, you're just hungry, normal hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, man, it's probably time I should probably I probably should eat something. Like I didn't go to the gym this morning, so, uh, so I like did you know it was like whatever, you know, and um, yeah. I did a bunch of sit-ups, jumping jacks, and push-ups this morning. That was all my only only workout I got in. Uh, so nice. we'll nice. see how we'll see how that goes. I gotta I, I might try to get to the gym later on tonight, but I'm not. You're like, but yeah. So uh... you got any uh, breaking news stories? Not breaking news stories, but well, things that you might want to talk uh... about. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, we can talk about NASCAR for a minute. Oh, I was, oh, I've man. been waiting for, like, since I heard about it to talk to you. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I will. NASCAR in general. Let's just talk about the, okay. the, the, the entire sport and all that encompasses it, right? Yeah. Don't take yourself so seriously, first off. Yeah, you know, there was a but really cool Sunday. Chase gets his first win. Chase Elliott, right? Oh, yeah. If you're not uh if you're a casual fan. Um Elliott drives the family historic number nine that his dad made a, did a lot of damage in that nine car yeah. with historically, right? Yeah, one, one championship, one of which races in the nine. That is it that would you say dad is a top ten all time legend? Top fifty. Top fifty. All time driver. Yeah. I mean I mean just he's way up there. His his name is synonymous with the sport. Oh yeah, yeah. He's been the best driver from Georgia. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, <laughs> if, if 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 someone goes, when you think of NASCAR in Georgia, who do you think of? I think of Bill Elliott. Yeah, he's got a cool. Right. He's got a cool nickname too. Right. Well, he, it was Million Dollar Bill at one point too. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, Bill takes Bill. A while to win his first race yeah. when he first got onto the cup scene in like you know the eighties, and it was eight second place finishes to be accurate before he got his first win at a road course in Riverside, California, which is near where I grew up, and where I not that I'm not from Riverside. Fuck that. No. But you get what I mean. Near, <laughs> but, near uh, there. Yeah, yeah, I, could I mean that 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 general, general region <laughs> of of the earth. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so fast forward. 2000 what we're in 2018 now we'll just say that yeah she's been around for about this is his third cup season but anyways um eight second place finishes owned by chase yeah. for the last three years before he, until sunday he hadn't won a race yet and then he finally wins a race at Watkins Glen, which is a road course that is creepy it is creepy and what else is creepy is that his dad just announced that he's going to be racing again at road america in a couple weeks yeah but so <laughs> Interesting how I that works. Foolishly out. losing money on daily fantasy sport NASCAR lineups. <laughs> just, to put him play, in. just to fuck it. Just to fucking play Bill Elliott. Uh, you'd be like, this is like the old days. Is playing someone. <laughs> right. No. Uh, but anyways, uh, and then a, a little more NASCAR news. So you, you know that was Sunday, right? So you go to bed. You know you thinking life's okay. The, so, NASCAR, it, it, another, for, another, for all intents great, and purposes, another, the story that NASCAR is been kind of waiting for chase getting a cha- getting a getting a, a, a win which is big right. big for the sport big for the yeah NASCAR <laughs> heritage. and uh brian france talk about taking your uh you know your nascar heritage a little too seriously um he gets a dui and a possession charge for oxy Oxycodone, some I forget some form of oxy, right? Yeah. Oxycodone was oxycodone. I think pills. it was. He had a bunch of pills. He had a, he had he had pills and no script. Yeah. And uh, I laughed so hard in Jeremy Jeremy Mayfield's like voice. Yeah. <laughs> like you give him a ghost the ghost of Jeremy Mayfield's career. <laughs> laughing so hard. NASCAR career. I'm sure he can race somewhere, but uh, it's pretty funny, man. And then uh, NASCAR itself kind of being quiet for you know a good. 12 hour period on it as far as like the NASCAR media outlets go and all their talking heads that cover that sport and then it was amazing on Twitter all at once yeah the same tweet came oh out yeah like eight all the months. all the the independent NASCAR reporters right I mean and like I'm a like a huge Dale Jr. fan and he talked about his on his you know the dirty mo you know the Dale Jr. download yeah. right or whatever and uh and you know it was just another cookie cutter response, you know, as far as like, but you got also got to realize a lot of these guys probably know, they know him as an oh. actual person and not you know a, a figure, yeah. You know, so it's a little easier to kind of you know say popping pills and spinning wheels and turn it's turn not turn. Yeah. And, I feel uh, like though I feel like if you were a NASCAR official NASCAR reporter, you would do it though. So. You would still say those. I mean, because if you can't yeah. if if you can't oh, yeah, take well, the yeah, heat, then you shouldn't. A, Right, right, right. I mean, he he stepped down yeah. the same day, so I mean, that's, he, you know, and I hope he gets help he needs and moves forward and whatever. Yeah, but yeah, I have no, I don't feel bad for the fucking guy. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing that he got released on a felony possession charge 
you know, I'm pretty sure what 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 is oxycodone? A schedule what? It's got a schedule. A schedule what in New York? I I'm like, what is it? Is it a what? Someone tell. I don't know. I'm asking you. I, I think it, it's a serious one, though. I mean, New York. But, but anyways, anyways, and it makes me imagine, you know, him, you know, oh, oh, dude with some money probably doesn't have like half an oxycodone in his pocket. Yeah. That he's been like nipping bites off of because he's broke or something. You, you get what I mean? No, he's probably got a fucking handful. Of money, oh, he's got a lot. So, sure. So it's amazing. He, he got the walk out the next day. But anyway. Andy, was, Andy uh, got the benefit of, of not really taking a lot of media heat like overall sports media heat because no 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 one said shit like if this, like if it was uh if this was freaking adam silver or as you like to call him adam stern he's adam stern <laughs> the, the nba you know commissioner this would be everywhere he would get freaking roasted Pro- players probably would have came out and roasted him oh yeah yeah and uh, it also made me think amazing. of uh denny hamlin pre like Oh, the Adderall oh, comment. The Adderall comment. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, just makes you wonder, you know. It's like, come on, no one, no one's saying nothing. It's it's kind of funny. Yeah. I mean, the the it's hilarious that the the commission, the CEO of an organization that is, you know, yeah. probably the premier in American stock car racing. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Or, or stock car racing in the world. Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, it's a DUI. What's the D stand for in DUI? Driving. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways. Uh, hey, you know, I got tripped up. It was a road course. <laughs> but no, it was really I, I just. It's like, come on. It's like, come on. Turn, turn, it's turn, not turn was hilarious. And. Uh, Oh man, dude, there's so many good ones that could, people could roast them for too. You, you did oh, yeah, it. No, no, yeah, yeah, no. And I thought the second I found out, I was like, "This is too good to be true." And and then I was like, "Talk about taking your NASCAR heritage too seriously." You know, I'm sure he. Would, I don't know if he lives in the Hamptons, but if he doesn't, yeah, wouldn't he be running contraband from state to state like a bootlegger? <laughs> He's very moonshining. Where NASCAR? You should edit in that scene from. <laughs> Talladega Nights, or he's dumping the water on Ricky Bobby. What, what did NASCAR star? Well, Moonshine or Moonshine? Moonshine. How'd stock car racing get its start? Uh, the bootleggers through Prohibition. They had to have cars fast enough to outrun the fans, and they started racing each other. That's right. Okay, hey, man. It's true. Yep, right. I wish I could Photoshop heads on video. You know, that'd be great. But anyways, it's yeah, fun. and so you know, I, I can get the other side of the shoe where these people were like, you know, you know, it's kind of a small community as far as that stuff goes. Most people that cover that sport cover it for a very long time for a reason, yeah. And then people that buck the grain, yeah, you, you know, and and it's not like they brought in someone that isn't like they brought in another France, yeah. And so, it's not like yeah, well, because it's like the they I mean they own. The company. I mean, it's a lot. It's it's the logical thing. I could see what they're doing. It's a smart thing to do from a business standpoint. I'm not saying anything. Oh yeah. Until they make their official statement, but I don't work for NASCAR, so. <laughs> well, I mean, most. I was gonna say most most standard people would just blow it under the radar. They won't even. I mean, five years from now, people won't even, other than probably NASCAR fans, remember it. Yeah. You know, whereas like yeah. freaking, uh, what's his name? What's his name from the NBA? The uh, the ref who uh, Donahoe who freaking bet on games, or like was like making bad calls to fix no, games. Yeah, like everyone knows that. Everyone, you know, what I mean, like that's still oh, referenced God. today, whether you, they know his name or not. Like because it was part of you know a bigger sport, I guess. But, a, but hey, Mister France, you know what to help you with that detox? Packing a little ganja. In a pipe from Uncle Larry's pipe slash dot com. Yeah, that's right, man. Yeah, yeah it really, it it'll really help. It'll help with your nausea. I mean, it'll help with uh, whatever you say you need it for, like that old tennis. You, your tennis elbow is acting up. Tennis elbow. <laughs> Pack some green in Uncle Larry's pipe stash dot com. That's right. It's all you know. Oh, it's made from exotic wood. Yeah, exotic wood. Which uh, I mean, might at some point maybe you could smuggle across the line. While you're smuggling what what kind of exotic wood is it? Hardwood. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and while we're at it, I wanted to say that, because I forgot to mention it, um, our background today is from the awesome artist, which is down in the bottom corner. You can go follow him on Instagram. It's Naj Fotra underscore 
artist. And uh, he does some amazing stuff. His name is Jonathan Gordon. And uh, yeah, he's been at it for a long time, doing awesome shit. Mm. So. Yeah, no, it's really cool stuff. Go check him out. Give him a follow. Definitely. He does everything. A little bit of everything. Tag tag a friend you think would like the artwork. Yeah. And uh, tag a friend and then put Yo Dude next to it. Yeah, right. And then uh, all you weirdos out there, you know, put it in your spank bank. You know, I'm in. Hey. Right. Spank bank. Right. Yep. Your stash. So, uh, So, yeah. I mean, NASCAR, don't take yourself so seriously. Yeah. Moving on. I mean, but it, 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 it's funny. NAS- NASCAR should get the Missy Elliott lady to be their CEO. So she doesn't take herself seriously. Get it. I Is she drinking lean out of that thing? She has to. She has to. There's some. That lady in the back had the bounce, though. She was. Good, good man. I, I really believe that <laughs> is the real nipple plan yet? Oh man, she says nipples. Is the real nipple plan yet? Man, what a week! What a week! What a week! This is actually a uh, live footage of uh, Brian France. <laughs> <laughs> this is where this is the party Brian France was leaving. <laughs> oh, dude. Now we know. This is the party he was leaving. Yeah, he was drinking out of that big old horn. Oh, man. He's flipping, flipping, thing yet. So awesome. I really believe that she thinks that Missy's making the turntable scratch sound. Oh, for sure, yeah. For now. She, I mean, she might be. That's the real MVP is that lady eat baked Mrs. beer. Right there right a cup. Go. <laughs> a Dixie cup. That's, that's country right there. So, um, Jay, uh, I was bored as all get out yesterday. So, I watched a bunch of Netflix. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Did you finish? Uh, so, disclaimer for those who do not know, and he has now memorized three quarters of the movie Mona and Lisa Smile. That's right. Mona Lisa Smile is amazing. Mm-hmm. Classic. And, 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 and it's not like a traditional first three quarters. It's the first quarter, and then he cries for the second quarter, and then after he gets his shit together, he has the second or the third and the fourth quarters memorized, the second half. I can't stop crying through the second quarter. That's why. Mm. What do you do? But Lisa smile. you know what I was doing? I wasn't crying yesterday. I was laughing because I was watching comedy specials because I've been on a run of comedy specials. Just been binging. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're very bingeable because you just laugh and then you're just like, whatever. And then they're like easy content to like consume. I don't know. I'm hard, I'm hard to make laugh, man. It's, I mean, as far as like in that, in that vein of uh, I'm, pre- I'm pretty analytical. You given me yeah. watch so many of them that like, I like I like to think about why it's funny. Why it's funny that makes sense. Yeah, makes like sense the way they set it up and shit like that and stuff. Uh, point A to point who, B. Who are you? I right, 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 right. Yeah. So certain comics, yeah. I mean, that may, maybe necessarily how I, I don't necessarily find the joke funny. Yeah. But the way they execute the joke is hilarious. You get what I mean, and so. Uh, I mean that's yeah, all. Yeah. That's that's part of it is is execution. Like you can oh, yeah. you could say the joke, and I think I've heard a couple of comedians on podcasts talk about how like when they transcribe their jokes, if you just read them, they're like, mm-hmm. "What's fun?" They don't. They they're not. That's not funny. But it's like how you deliver them. Right. Sure. Um, but I I was binging, uh, and I'm probably gonna do some more today. But I'll I'll binge. Uh, I think I'm gonna binge the Tom Segura ones, even though I've seen them all. I'm gonna do it again. Just. Yeah, I like the old ones. The older ones are good. The who were you? Uh, you who'd you say you were watching? I was watching Eliza Schlesinger. Schlesinger. Uh, Schlesinger. Yeah. Okay. I watched uh, uh, watched her last. Kill. Okay, hey, let's so play. She just came play. out with Elder Millennial. Let's play. Uh, let's play a game. Confirm let's play a game. Let's, let's play. Let's yeah. play a game called Fucker Fucker Kill. Fucker, okay. Because I mean, we could do fuck kill or marry, but no one wants to get married. <laughs> That's a- so uh, let's be honest. Hey. 
All right, we're only gonna, we're gonna do one round. Okay. Because they're both blonde. They're both white. I know it is. They're both comedians. <laughs> Fuck or kill. Nikki Glazer. <laughs> I knew or it the chick you just said because I can't. Eli- Eliza Slusinger. Yeah, that's it. I, no, I remember the name, but I can't even pronounce it. So it's just like whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's hard. It's a hard one to pronounce. Fuck or kill. Ooh. That's tough. That's a tough one. That's a t- that is a. Dude, that's a that is a that's a tough one. What's your? Uh, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to throw it on you first. I like what. I, uh... I'd kill that Isla girl. I can't even say her last name. <laughs> it's just because. Sup, Nikki? You go on with Nikki Glazer? Okay, fair enough. Uh, fair. No, I, I, I don't know. I was just joking, dude. It was just funny. But no, I'm just kidding. I don't, Sup, Nikki? I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know. I like their comedy about the same. Mm. I, I think I have about the same amount invested in their comedy, which is not much because I just. I, I've listened. To, I li- I'm just joking. That was a joke, too. <laughs> you, I know you're a comedy man. You like? Oh no, I love comedy. Um, I love stand-up comedy. Um, but, I, I uh, would go probably with Eliza. I figured you would. Not, but I, I would feel bad killing somebody, but especially someone that, like that. Like if there was a third option, it'd probably be a third option that would get killed. But since it's one or the other, it has to go that way. You have to settle it somehow. There's, I so, have to settle it. Somehow. So so I'm I'm Team Bert and Team Eliza, and your Team Tom and Team. I don't think it really. I don't. I don't view it as teams. We're just this we're divided. We're doing this a comedy draft. Like we're team drafting comedy sport. <laughs> this isn't a team puck of sport. Flu flip a flip a flan. Yeah, <laughs> you have that lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, God, that shoulder, bro. Keep going hard in the paint. Flu flip a flip a flan. Yeah. Let me work it. Terrible. Yeah. Well, yeah, so no, yeah, no, no, so no, I, but I was uh, I was watching um yeah, watching no, these uh, comedy specials, and uh, though so, so low key, yeah, what they both kind of look like Keebler elves, like Keebler elves, <laughs> yeah. Like I, I have this weird twisted fantasy where it's me in a tree, and I have pointed shoes on. Okay, this is and, this is and, awkward and, because and, aren't you afraid of like small people, or just, just Lupus? Okay, and Chucky. And and Chucky's not really a small person because he's a kid. Fuck Chucky. Chucky's a real dog. <laughs> but he's a kid, though. He's a kid. So he's not really a... I'm afraid of children, too, in large enough quantities sure. to trample sure. me. <laughs> Big enough groups to trample me. But anyways, uh, but yeah, no, we're in a tree, and they're feeding me cookies. Yeah? Like little key elves. Yeah. Are they dipped yeah. twice, cookies? Mike. No nah, man, no the the, the fucking uh, El Fudge cookies, bro. You know, like the oh, rivers. Dude, those things are awesome. Oh, and yeah. dude, I'm on a diet, man. You're making me hungry now. Fat but kid status, man. Mm-hmm. Oh man, no. Keep speaking up. of cookies, dude, speaking of cookies, right? Yeah. Good mm-hmm. cookies. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was gonna say yeah. So, uh, to watch the special. Now I'm just gonna think of fucking keep our elf, fucking little elves when I think of. Them. But uh, uh, she has a um, yeah. the party goblin. Have you have you seen that bit? Uh, I haven't seen her new. Is that from? Her no, new no, movie? it's from uh, from Confirmed Kills, which is her last. I haven't. This. I've seen her first special. That was one of the reasons why I went with Nikki because I've seen more of her material. But uh, um, I've I've seen the what was it? War paint, sizzling, whatever, or what's the first one called? War paint. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I've seen. That's a good one. Uh, no, uh, uh, the confirmed kills is the last one before her, the one she just released, which is Elder Millennium. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it has a, it starts with Party Goblin, and it's basically her talking about how like when she's like just gonna go out for a drink, like it turns into like her being like basically blacked out, and her Party Goblin takes over and does a bunch of shit that like she would never do. But basically, she's mm-hmm. talking about how she just can't handle being drunk Dude. i guess and yeah, and yeah, can't just have day. one and she wants to have a good yeah. time and party goblin takes over and really like that to a certain extent so it's like one part she's like she's saying something like uh party goblin will tell you to like call your ex-boyfriend and then turn your phone off 
or eat the sandwich out of the garbage or whatever. Big shit like that. And I'm like, man, I was like, that's such a relatable bit because, like, I think everybody's probably had at least one of those nights. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I got you. Yeah. So that's that's pretty funny. And then, uh. You got any good party stories? Party stories? No. No. No, none that I'm willing to devote yeah. today. <laughs> Any that you're gonna remember? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, there's plenty of those. I every uh every six months or so, I get together with a few friends. They're like, "You don't remember that?" I'm like, "Nope." And they're like, "Yeah, man, you drove through a field and a Volkswagen Golf and hit a cow." <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" I go, "What?" They're like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Whose car was it?" They're like, "It was Jamie's." <laughs> Poor Jamie. And I was like, "Oh," I was like, "Why? Where was Jamie? He was in the car with you. Why was I driving?" You were less drunk than him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair oh, enough. Okay. <laughs> I mean, right. at least you're being responsible. <laughs> I'm but, yeah. yeah. Did you get to keep the cow? <laughs> no, we hit it a second time, though, on accident, too. No, shit. I'm trying to turn back around to get through the fence. <laughs> I'm told. I don't. <laughs> you're like, this, this is, is all second hand knowledge because I don't. Yeah, this is all alleged knowledge because I have no. Recall You're this, mis- and missing. I'm pretty sure the statute of limitations have passed on it. So, I'm gonna, but yeah, I gotta, yeah. I gotta research certain subjects before we can talk about <laughs> them legally. But, but That's um, so oh yeah, no, there's plenty of them. Uh, maybe sometime I'll tell the story about a guy named Moose and him getting peed on from a second story balcony. Oh, that's uh, always fun. By somebody that was a much, much smaller than him, but way faster runner. <laughs> it have to be, because if not, you're that's not a good thing. Good look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was I gonna like say, uh, one of the things that I really like enjoy about comedy is the way they word things, and the, oh yeah, kind of to kind of to touch on what we talked about last week about wording and wording things properly. You were telling you were telling me a story about one of your buddies who is a little bit of folklore on this uh, podcast that doesn't oh, that yeah. might have some weird wording. Oh, okay. Yeah, DP, right? So <laughs> um, we were kind of sitting out on this back patio of a clock, and this was in Afghanistan about 2007, like mid-2007 probably. It was after the thaw, so I'd say it's probably about April because I remember all the roads were fucking muddy and shit and there was flat, some flash floods and stuff like that from the snow melt but anyways um you know when uh you, you ever meet, you ever talk to a toddler and they go hey what's that hey what's that mean hey what's that so we would do that to the interpreter occasionally right For, you know, <laughs> you're and, grown-ass so, toddlers <laughs> right, more or less. No, well, and, and some things because you know we'd have some n- working knowledge of how to speak. I think this was Dari, and it may have been past you. I forget exactly where we were, but uh, but anyways, uh, we're like, hey, so what's that gutter called? And he's like, gutter's not a word, and I want to say it was Farsi, and he goes, it's drain pipe, and it, but it's Noah, and so uh, and I'm probably butchering. It's been so long since I've said it, right? And, and so, anyways. Out comes Bogey, and Bogey's first name is no none other than Noah. But you know, so he just hears us say DP, <laughs> and uh, he's like, DP, oh DP, I'm never DP. No one's ever DP me. I DP things. You, know, <laughs> you motherfuckers, you know, and uh, totally over exaggerates and gets a f- you know just has <laughs> a minute, and so naturally we all hone in on it and then it became a thing so we were calling him db for months and uh you get all pissed off but yeah yep it's funny hey i mean those are the kind of stories that like i enjoy like because it's like so funny when uh one person kind of gets teamed up on but not in like a malicious way but it's just like oh it all rotates man yeah. it's whoever fucks up whoever fucks yeah. up does something stupid we uh well, the, we had a guy named reload reload <laughs> reload could you guess why? Would you, can you guess why his name was Reload? Knowing you guys were in the military, I would assume that something with the guns, like that would be where you would first think, but I would assume that it, it does not have to do with guns. In a way, uh, you go, we're going to tick like the evening before. It wasn't like a crazy big one or anything. It was just a little bit of, it was some light contact and 
and then we broke contact and got out out yeah, of the area. You know, I'm not in the mood to fight, fight. <laughs> and uh, anyways, um, the next day we kind of go back through that area and kind of see what we can pick some stuff up. And while well, it's daytime, and we can kind of see what's going on. And they are they're still there, and they kind of you know greet us with an aggressive welcome. <laughs> you get what That's I mean. one way to put it. And uh, trademark. Yo, dude, podcast. But, uh, <laughs> an aggressive welcome. welcome. That's what she said. Uh, oh, anyways, uh, is that a cardwood? <laughs> right? Yeah. That's funny. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, we, we you know, uh, Garrison, his last name was Garrison. And, anyways, he hops, he was one of the dismounts of the Humvee, and he hops out, you, you know, and goes to Dick's cover, and he pops off about three rounds. But he, the asshole never cleaned his M4 the night before, and he had a 203. Yeah, but anyways, um, so he got three, he popped three rounds off, pop, 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 and uh, it was a reload. But he was taking, he was supposed to be laying down suppressive fire, and so uh, that's where reload came from. Okay. And, so because he but, was lazy um, and didn't clean his gun. You no, know, I don't think he was. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, people make mistakes. You know what I mean? Oh, well, yeah, I'm sure. Um, Sleep deprivation human, and all that kind of stuff. You're all kinds asleep. of shit like that, man. I mean, malnutrition. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't say they were, but you know, not the best nutrition, but um, not taking care of yourself. Shit right. happens. I mean, I wouldn't say he was like you know the sharpest tool in the shed ever, but uh, he was definitely on dom. You yeah, know, you get what I mean. And uh, but yeah, so that's where Reload came from. Good source. Yeah, I, I. Do you have any weird nicknames? Me? Yeah. No, just that. Just that. Maddie. Maddie. <laughs> Maddie. Maddie was the the military nickname. That's Maddie the best one. That makes that's sense. where it came from. Uh, makes sense. Yeah, I managed not to uh, get too. Uh, well, my first sergeant called me Panama Red. Panama Red. <laughs> Panama Red. It's a weed strain. Oh. Eighties. Okay. Seventies. And uh, he called me that for like fucking two years. He had my red, <laughs> and then uh, I was always outspoken about smoking pot. Well, yeah, so and I told him I was like, "Hey, we ever lay over in Amsterdam? I'm gonna fucking get off this plane. And you're never gonna see me again." <laughs> I, said, uh, I was like, "Come find me, bitches!" There, <laughs> this was like when it was MySpace. You got fucking find me. <laughs> I'm gonna be on. I'm not gonna be on fucking Facebook posting shit. Then you know, I barely had a cell phone <laughs> at that point. And then, uh, and I always joked about disappearing in the Hindu Kush range, mountains, the mountain range, the Hindu Kush mountains. But, uh, so it was always a funny joke. It's funny. Hey. Where they'd be like, hey, who, who wants to go watch, you know, yada yada fields except Madrid? <laughs> yeah, right. And then, and then we actually landed in, uh, what was the name of that fucking airport in Amsterdam? I can't remember, but, you know, usually when you land somewhere, uh, you have to leave someone behind to do a weapons watch. Yeah. You know, watch firearms. And so there's usually a couple people, but uh, <laughs> guess who had to do the weapons watch? Because he opened his fucking mouth like a dumbass um, 18 months before I'm going to say was, you. <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, it was me. And then, uh, but it was really funny. But then, no, but it was cool. Then, my fr- then the first sergeant who called me Pamela read all that time uh, came back and was like, "Get the fuck off the plane," you know, and, and let me go frolic for a while. That's cool. So then, I, and then that was me living my best life for a minute. I mean, and then you were uh, seriously like, maybe I, maybe I just. But then, don't the, but then the cocksucker you would aid me when we got where we went. <laughs> and then he's like, "Hey." I'm pissing this cup, and I was like, "Man, I'm sorry to have to do this." So I was like, "I have to take a shit too." So you're gonna have to stand here and watch me take a shit. <laughs> but then, but then he was like, "Well, we'll sit down," and I'm like, "No." So then I like Spider Spider Man squatted on the toilet bowl oh. and her just stared in his eyes. That's so awkward. <laughs> That's awesome. This is fucking shit though. Oh. <laughs> And he, and, then, and then he just looks at me and he goes, where the fuck does the army find you people? Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine thinking the same thing. You're like, what is going on right now? Oh, good old fresh-faced yeah, Maddie back in the day, huh? Uh, yeah. And I don't remember what year that was. But uh, they did. Yeah, but, you know, I passed the UA for what it's worth. Ha. Huh. I did get shitty drunk with a one star. Do you believe that's a brigadier general? If I remember that rank right, uh, in Shannon, Ireland. Yeah. He was buying me uh, 
you know, shots of fucking Jameson. Yeah, Jameson. some Guinness and shit. And, I've had some uh, good Jameson drinking nights. Oh yeah, that was the best Jameson I've ever had. Was over there, and the, the Guinness is different. You know, it's the water's different, all that shit you, that they make it with. You, yeah, you, you get what I mean. You know, it's every, everything's different. The ingredients are different. It's from a different place. You know, and so um, it's good. It's way different. And uh, but yeah, I got fucked shit face with that fucking dude <laughs> he's like hey soldier let me buy you a shot <laughs> that's so funny have you have you uh have you been to uh the like guinness uh factory or whatever where they yeah it's so touristy dude it's pretty uh it's pretty like tour to destination yeah it's cool if you've never been there you go there at least go there once but after that you've seen it you know what i mean but if you uh you'd be better off if you, if you want to go get fucked up for free yeah while you're there go to the jameson door Go Jameson. Yeah, okay. you got more. And then, um, I was more so going to ask you, yeah, but, you, you had but, Jameson uh, airport, over there because everyone says it's different. So It is a, it is a little different. Uh, in the airport in Shannon, Ireland, we got off, right? And so they have this like whole con, like, you know, you know, the airports have shops and stuff, right? You know, so they got this whole Jameson store. And there's these ladies with, you know, like or, hors d'oeuvre trays with the shots of whiskey. Yeah. And oh man, we like swarmed on that shit, dude. dude like, that's so funny. Freaking hyenas, man, <laughs> pushing each other out of the way and stuff. And uh, oh man, that's a, that's a, that's the same afternoon that that girl got me wasted. That was the beginning of the drinking. You know? so <laughs> they eventually kicked us out, even though we were buying stuff. But I came back from that tour. That was on my way home. Uh, so I had a couple bottles from there. That's and eventually cool. Eventually, they got drunk, awesome. but uh. Yeah, I forget what occasion I ended up opening them for now, but uh, but yeah, so that was uh, but the, the factory itself is really cool. That's cool. Yeah, I uh, bought a so I bought a bottle of Jameson, some really the high end, high end Jameson. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was uh, I was going to see my my buddy Carter play mm. on uh, it was like the Bamboozle East tour like because it had used to, have, it used to be a festival i don't know if it still is but um then they did like a tour and it's so, like third eye blind was like one of the headliners hansen was one of the headliners but it was like mostly like pop punk bands and like oh, uh, my buddy carter he, he's a singer songwriter but uh, he was playing guitar for uh katie groves and she was like she, she kind of had a decent decent following she ended up having her first video had like blake shelton in it or whatever Actually, you might remember oh. Katie Groves because when Miranda Lambert and Blake Shelton got divorced, Katie Groves was one of the ladies they said might have Blake might have cheated on her with. But whatever. All right. So yeah. So the 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 night I saw them in uh, in Virginia, it was the the night that is his album released, and um, so we okay. ce- we celebrated with Jameson. It was me, him, and uh, another gentleman who now lives in Texas, and uh, he's a musician as well now, uh, Matt Dunn. And uh, yeah, so we all started drinking and we barbecued up some stuff, and I think we made pizzas, and we were all like setting up on the his barbecue, re- huh? You made pizzas on the barbecue? No, no, we made barbecue, and then we made pizzas because we were so drunk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we were just, okay. We forgot we ate. <laughs> so, that makes sense. Yeah, we were all pretty, pretty, pretty gone there for a while. But we had to, we were worried because we were he had to like launch the like release at like midnight. So we were like trying to like all be like uh, uh <laughs> like go hit the buttons and some yeah. shit out. And it was it was a good night though. We all got really hammered on some uh, Jameson and obviously other stuff. But the Jameson was uh, definitely very strong that night. So back to your Netflix specials, real yeah. quick. How many? How many yo dudes? Would out of five, would you give it? Uh, which one? Average. Average out of the. Three. Average out of the three. Okay, so. So, so I, if someone wants to binge watch, what she's got four specials now. Yeah, right? four specials are available on Netflix. Yeah. If you were to go to Netflix and and uh, binge watch the four specials by what's her fucking name? Eliza Schlesinger. By her. <laughs> I'm just not even going to attempt to say the name. <laughs> I can say Eliza, no problem. Yeah. Schlesinger. Yeah. I, I'm probably I, saying it wrong, too, so it's all good. So so it's the blind leading blind. Yeah. And I don't want to look like thing this now, lady. Yeah. <laughs> Never gets old. A fleur flip up. She sounds like Frances McDormand. Or Mc, what's the McDermott. Frances McDermott. Yeah. 
in Fargo yeah. if she was singing Missy Elliott. Throw a flip a football flan yet, okay? You know. <laughs> now. That's awesome. Now. Uh, oh. So you said how many yo dudes? Okay, so out of what? Uh, one to five? You said? Yeah. Okay, so can I give half dudes? Yeah. Okay. So, and we're doing it on the three that I watched. So. No, all four. All four? All four. Okay. All four. Um, uh, I'm trying to average it out right now. So, uh, you're probably looking at 3.75 okay. yo dudes. You said how many? Sorry, I had a visit. Oh, no problem. 3.75 yo dudes. Out of five. You broke them down into quarters? No, you're just trying to... No, you you got to take a stand, man. Where you're... You, you don't have... Now, I'm going to make this harder. You can do halves I can do halves or holes. Or holes. Okay. So then I'd probably have to go so, three, okay, so three, like, 3. Okay, so like... 3.5. So, so, so five out of five yeah. is unattainable as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Yeah, probably. You're probably right, yeah. I mean, like, like a five. It, it, you get what I mean. Like, okay, Eddie Murphy's Raw, five out of five, probably. Um, okay. Richard Pryor, a couple of his, five out of five. George Carlin, five out of five, a couple of those. Yeah. Uh, I really thought Tom Segura's. No, no, I'm just kidding. He's not up there yet. But uh, not, dude, the last Tom Segura special. He, he it, it yeah, was it, that was score high. That's score high. It's it's it, it puts him in that realm. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, but he's got he's got to hit a couple more like that. You yeah. Know what I mean. Uh, I think it, part of it was because of the reaction, too, that people got. It was so funny. Dude, but it was um, fucking hilarious. That actually, It was. It was. I would have given it no, before. No, it, about the no it, it, it was so relatable to me, yeah. especially because I came from the West Coast, especially Southern California, and then was, got planted in the South at 17 years old in the Army. And like, you know, I had to wander around Southern Georgia for a minute <laughs> uh, and, then, and in Atlanta as well <laughs> before I actually got to Fort Benning. So I was just like, "What in the? Are you talking to me?" <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, it's a. Uh, so, uh, uh, it's a whole that different. was uh, that was fun. That was a uh, my wife like that was like the part she laughed the hardest of watching that special, and my wife's hard yeah. to make laugh like laugh out loud like actually like belly laugh uncontrollably like she was dying at that part. Okay, so back to your rating. Okay, three point five. I'll give it a three point five. You get a three point five. Yeah. You yeah, think that's generous? Well, I'm trying. I'm. I'm like. I was doing the quick math. So like, if I was doing it. Yeah. No, that's that's right. Because I gave two of them threes, and two of them fours. Because I thought they were funny. But thinking the way you're thinking, at five is pretty much unattainable. So. I mean, or or you know, like it. That's tough. That's a tough one because, like, if I can't do quarters, then you're gonna have a you're gonna have a hard time like getting like a three to a three five is tough, but that's a big difference. I mean, I, I'd say, uh, I mean, and, and even like rating them all together would make it harder. Yeah, yeah it does. I yeah, trying, I, I was just trying to put you in a hard spot, but uh, like it would be between a three okay, and a okay, three okay, five. Okay, okay. How, so how about three, this three one? How about this one? Probably, I, is that I, okay? So. I, if I was likely to go and watch some of her new stuff, or, yeah. or the, the the newer three since the one I've seen, yeah, uh, and I'd probably pick the newest one because it's you know the most current. Yeah. What would you rank that elder millennial one? I would go. I I gave that one a, a four on my quick quick one. I, if I had to go back and do it with halves, I'd probably do it like three five. Three five. Three point five. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, and then I'd probably like because like, like if I did the Tom Segura's disgraceful, yeah, I would give him like a that would be a solid four and an arguable four and a half. I, I was just, gonna, I was just just from the way he he executed it, the the content was great, but the way he performed it, it arguably, but he's one of the best storytellers, yeah. man. I do you, okay. So I think this is a, this is a a great way to go about this. I think we do this. Who's a better story? Who's a better storyteller? It, Tom Segura or Kevin Hart? I like Tom Segura better, personally. I like Kevin Hart's uh, bits about his children. They're, the those are material. Yeah, they, yeah. The Oreo material is really funny because everybody, they're really relatable. Because my kids are like that too. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. But uh, um, I uh, definitely think I like. I, I don't know. 
It's, they're both really good. They are good. Kevin Hart. Kevin, Kevin Hart's really good at that dramatic pause and getting attention. Yeah. He'll he'll he will go. Hey 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 hey. Yeah. Hey. He's good at callbacks too. Hey. 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 <laughs> Yeah, nice, nice trying to psych me out. But uh, until he gets the attention of the room, and yeah. then he goes into the story. Tom's kind of angle is I've noticed that he'll, uh, when he's setting you up with a hook, he'll just be like, fuck, I don't want to be here right now. Yeah, yeah. It's just blunt and to the point and funny. And, he's very late. Uh, he's laid back, and he doesn't. It, he effortlessly makes it look like he doesn't. Almost like yeah. it's like stream of conscious. Right, it's just it's, it just seems like he 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 hasn't put much yeah. into it. He does makes it so good that it makes it seem that way, even though you know you he know does. he does. Yeah, yeah. He puts yeah, the work. He probably puts. Sure. He makes makes me think he puts even more into it than the average you know comedian, and so uh, that makes me think he's better. He's he's so dead. His his dead his and, deadpan. And, and that compa- Yeah, Dude, yeah. It's it so funny. Comparison. The dead, the, Hi, man. the deadpan, yeah. So, so I think we should do this. We're, I think this is. Oh, did you hear Bruce Jenner wants to be a Marvel villain? What? There's a transgender Marvel villain. No, but I think he'd be a shoe in for the X Men. Shoe in for the X Men. What was it? What 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 would Bruce Jenner's X Men name be? Uh, what's a funny name that sounds like ran over somebody killed somebody uh what what what's what's a what's a synonym for vehicular manslaughter anybody <laughs> uh not paying attention <laughs> um, um oh shoot yeah no oh what would it be you know what's really funny is chloe kardashian dude i always find a way to bash the kardashians you do. uh chloe kardashian's stepdad killed somebody while doing his makeup <laughs> and her real dad got acquitted because the glove didn't fit it wasn't fitted yeah ah, oh. i tried hey. that was lame okay but but really that's kind of actually funny i mean she has they could make a sitcom what? out of that that two two piece two piece tristan dude protect your neck bro Hey, you know you don't you know you don't want to end up on uh, Bruce Jenner's uh, hit list, dude. I mean, you can uh, you can make a '80s sitcom out of that. I remember they had My Two Dads. It'd be like My Two Acquitted from Murder Dads. See, mm. and it'd just be Bruce yeah, Jenner right. and OJ, two athletes and a tranny, two and a half men. <laughs> no, well, one and a half men. Uh, <laughs> He's still a dude. He's still got his chromosome, so he's still a dude. Did they? But, did uh, did uh, did Caitlyn get the surgery? I'm pretty sure, but the the surgery doesn't remove your chromosomes. So. I mean, uh, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah. We should send him for vehicular manslaughter. Uh, uh, r- Damn it! There's not a good one. <laughs> I, at this point, I don't think she could be an X-Man. I think she'd have to be a villain. <laughs> well, that's what she said. Or he said, damn it, you got me to say she because you said he. He <laughs> said. Uh, he said she said. Uh, no, he, H-E. He said, I want to make sure I, it, for closed captioning purposes, he, H-E. Uh, he said he wanted to be a Marvel villain. So I was trying to think of what a good Marvel villain name would be for him. The... Transporter. That's <laughs> the uh, what's his name movie. <laughs> uh, how about uh, um, I don't know. We'll, yes, we'll, next week I'm gonna have a list. Next week you have a whole list to start it. Yeah, right. I think we I think we can start doing a, a Netflix uh, Netflix watch. We'll pick one thing and then we'll come back and we'll yo dude it. No, oh, okay. All right, Evil Genius, three out of five. Really? I yeah, good documentary. I haven't watched. I haven't watched I, it, but I, I, I do. I, I knew. That I want to give it a four out of five because they, you know, most documentaries have like four episodes where they don't need to be because they stretch it out. Yeah. But uh, this one was kind of short and contrived to the point. You know, boom, 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 boom. boom. But uh, and then I watched the staircase, and I. 
I say it gets a three out of five too. Yeah. I think we have to do quarters, though. I think you have to be, have to be able to have quarters, like uh, like like, like stars. So, so. I'm gonna give three. Out. No, I, I I will say the dude, the main uh, guy, um, he got screwed over by the system, and or at least the community that you know investigated him or whatever. Yeah. But um, I don't know if he did it or not. It looks because I don't want to spoil it, but documentary itself, three out of five. Okay. Well, I think we I think we we start making these as like just off one off videos. I think that's. But people can expect us. We'll watch that. We'll get together. We'll watch the same thing, and then we'll do a grading mm. system. So you'll have a J yeah. system, you have an ant system, and you'll have a, a yo dude com, compiled system. Right. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty hard on stuff too. So. Uh, yeah. Are you made of exotic hardwood? <laughs> Ask your mom. Hey everybody, Ant here. Just wanted to say thank you for watching. Yo, dude! If you liked what you saw, definitely hit the subscribe button so you get first notifications when everything comes out. Also, follow us on Twitter at Yo Dude Podcast, at Maddie Machine Gun, and at Patch Black DFS.